Henrietta Zold December 21, 1860 to February 13, 1945, was a U.S. Jewish Zionist leader and founder of Hadassah, the Women's Zionist Organization of America. In 1942, she co-founded IHUD, a political party in Mandatory Palestine dedicated to a binational solution. Biography <inaudible> 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 Henrietta Zold was born in Baltimore, Maryland, the daughter of Rabbi Benjamin Zold of Slovak birth, who was the spiritual leader of Baltimore's Temple Oheb Shalom. She was the eldest of eight daughters. In 1877, she graduated from Western High School. For 15 years she taught at Miss Adams School and Oheb Shalom Religious School, and gave Bible and history courses for adults. Highly educated in Jewish studies, she edited Professor Marcus Jastra's Talmudic Dictionary. To further her own education, she attended public lectures at Johns Hopkins University and the Peabody Institute. Zold established the first American night school to provide English language instruction and vocational skills to Russian Jewish immigrants in Baltimore. Beginning in 1893, she worked as the first editor for the Jewish Publication Society, a position she maintained for over 23 years. The sole woman at the JPS, Zold's duties included the translation of a dozen works, writing articles of her own, editing the books, and overseeing the publication schedule. In 1899 she took on the lion's share of producing the first American Jewish year book, of which she was sole editor from 1904 to 1908. She also collaborated in the compilation of the Jewish Encyclopedia. In 1902, Zold took classes in advanced Jewish studies at the Jewish Theological Seminary, however, its rabbinic school was for men only. Zold begged the school's president, Solomon Schechter, to allow her to study, he did only with the provision that she not seek ordination. Zold did well at the seminary, earning the respect from other students and faculty alike. Her commitment to Zionism was heightened by a trip to Palestine in 1909. She founded Hadassah in 1912 and served as its president until 1926. In 1933 she immigrated to Palestine and helped run Youth Aliyah, an organization that rescued 30,000 Jewish children from Nazi Europe. <laughs> Zionism and origins of Hadassah In 1896, one month before Theodor Herzl published his magnum opus, Der Judenstaat, Zold described her vision of a Jewish state in Palestine as a place to ingather diaspora Jewry and revive Jewish culture. In 1898, the Federation of American Zionists elected Zold as the only female member of its executive committee. During World War I, she was the only woman on the Provisional Executive Committee for General Zionist Affairs. In 1909, at age 49, Zold traveled to Palestine for the first time and discovered her life's mission, the health, education and welfare of the Yishuv pre-state Jewish community of Palestine. Zold joined six other women to found Hadassah, which recruited American Jewish women to upgrade health care in Palestine. Hadassah's first project was the inauguration of an American-style visiting nurse program in Jerusalem. Hadassah funded hospitals, a medical school, dental facilities, X-ray clinics, infant welfare stations, soup kitchens and other services for Palestine's Jewish and Arab inhabitants. Zold persuaded her colleagues that practical programs open to all were critical to Jewish survival in the Holy Land. In October 1934 Zold laid the cornerstone of the new Rothschild Hadassah University Hospital on Mount Scopus. In the 1920s and 1930s she was a supporter of Brit Shalom, a small organization dedicated to Arab Jewish unity and a binational solution. In 1942, she was one of the co-founders of the Ihud Party which advocated the same program. Personal. Zold never married, and to her great sadness never had children of her own. While she was in her forties, she had an unrequited relationship with Talmudic scholar Rabbi Louis Ginsberg. He was fifteen years her junior, and he returned her feelings only platonically. After their relationship ended, she expressed her sadness. Today it is four weeks since my only real happiness was killed. Years afterward, she said, I would exchange everything for one child of my own. Death and burial 
On February 13, 1945, at age 84, Henrietta Zold died in the same Hadassah hospital she helped to build in Jerusalem. She was buried in the Jewish cemetery on the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem. From 1948 to 1967, the Mount of Olives was cut off from the rest of Jerusalem by the 1947 48 civil war in Mandatory Palestine and the 1949 Armistice Agreements. After Israel regained the region in the Six Day War, Kalman Mann, then Director General of Hadassah Medical Center, went with a group of rabbis to the cemetery to assess the condition of Zold's grave. They found that it had been paved over by a road built by the Jordanians, who had also vandalized many grave markers. They were able to locate Zold's burial site using a cemetery chart and counting the indentations in the ground. The grave was later rebuilt and remarked with a new stone marker in an official ceremony. Topic: <laughs> Mourners Kaddish. Zold was the oldest of eight daughters, and had no brothers. In Orthodox Judaism, it was not the norm for women to recite the mourner's Kaddish. In 1916, Zold's mother died, and a friend, Chaim Puritz, offered to say Kaddish for her. In a letter, she thanked Puritz for his concern, but said she would do it herself. I know well, and appreciate what you say about the Jewish custom, and Jewish custom is very dear and sacred to me. And yet I cannot ask you to say Kaddish after my mother. The Kaddish means to me that the survivor publicly and markedly manifests his wish and intention to assume the relation to the Jewish community, which his parent had, and that so the chain of tradition remains unbroken from generation to generation, each adding its own link. You can do that for the generations of your family, I must do that for the generations of my family. Zold's answer to Puritz is cited by Women and the Mourners Kaddish, a responsum written by conservative Rabbi David Golinkin. This responsum, adopted unanimously by conservative Judaism's Va'ad Halakha Law Committee of the Rabbinical Assembly of Israel, permits women to recite the mourner's Kaddish in public when a minyan is present. Zold was religiously traditional, but advocated a larger role for women in Rabbinic Judaism. <laughs> <laughs> Commemoration Kibbutz Kfar Zold, in Upper Galilee is named after her. The Palmach, in recognition of her commitment to Aliyat Hanor, Youth Aliyah, named the illegal immigration Ha'apala ship Henrietta Zold, after her. The ship, carrying immigrants from the Kifizia Orphanage in Athens, sailed from Piraeus on July 30, 1946, with 536 immigrants on board, and arrived on August 12, 1946. The passengers resisted capture, but were transferred to transport for Cyprus. In 1949, Hadassah inaugurated the Henrietta Zold Prize, which was awarded that year to Eleanor Roosevelt. The Henrietta Zold Institute, National Institute for Research in the Behavioral Sciences, located in Jerusalem, is named after her. The Institute is Israel's foremost planner of behavioral science intervention and training programs. Public School 134 on Manhattan's Lower East Side in New York City is also named after her. In 2007, Zold was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame in Seneca Falls, New York. In Israel, Mother's Day is celebrated on the day that Zold died, on 30 Shvat. In the northwest corner of Zold's home city of Baltimore, Zold Drive, a short street in a residential neighborhood with homes built in the 1950s, is named after her as well. The northernmost part of the street is in Baltimore County. In New York City, Zold Place, formerly Dry Dock Street runs from East 10th Street to East 12th Street in the East Village neighborhood of Manhattan. See also Benjamin Zold Robert Zold Zip Zold <laughs>